Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to MLS Journeyman with Zebu Nation. Now, we are still in between seasons here. It's only November of 2022, so we got a couple of months left before we take over our new team, LA Galaxy. So while we're in between seasons, we might as well play with the national team. How about that? Actually, uh, you probably know, I took over the national team last season, finished up qualification, and was able to get us here to the 2022 FIFA World Cup. As you can see, we're in Group H with Germany, Guinea, and Poland. And it's time to see if USA can make some noise in this competition. Now, I'm very good at coming in third place in these sort of international competitions. So we'll see if we can do a little bit better this time, or at least as well. You know, so that's the benchmark, is we're looking at third place in the World Cup, which would be a tremendous achievement for USA, but that seems to be uh, my ceiling as an international coach. We'll see if that plays out. But uh, some things have started already. A couple of games have been played in this first weekend of the World Cup. Jamaica on top of Group A with Russia. You know, that's an interesting group. Jamaica, you know, it's, it's a winnable group. Serbia's in there. They're very tough. Qatar, who are the host nation. They're not great, but they're in there. Uh, group B is a very difficult group. France and Mexico at the top of that. Turkey and Argentina, another tough group, Group C, with Croatia and Japan as well. Tunisia on top of Group D, a bit of a surprise there with Portugal in the group, and they had the draw with, with Uruguay. So, you know, another, it's looking like a difficult group. If Tunisia is, is as tough as they seem, winning their first game against Australia. Group E, South Korea, Belgium. It's another pretty decent group. Paraguay, Holland is in there. Uh, I guess it's a surprise upset. South Korea over Holland. Let's see what's Holland rated. 17th. So that's a you know it's a pretty good game. Uh, let's see. Group F, Spain and Colombia on top of that one. No questions there. And then Group G and H have yet to play. There are four North American teams. Uh, Jamaica on top of their group. Mexico on top of their group. And then Costa Rica yet to play. They've got another tough group in there with Italy and Brazil. And then USA in the same group with Germany and Poland. So I think we've got a, a decent group. This is a group where we could definitely beat two of these three teams. So I'm I'm a little bit a little bit hopeful that we can get out of this first round and make some noise. So how have we been preparing? Well, we played a couple of friendlies. Played some tough friendlies against France and Russia. Two teams who are in the World Cup, two teams who are pretty decent. France, obviously, uh, I believe they're the number one team in the world right now. They are, and they beat us 3-1 in the friendly. Not quite as bad as it looked. Um, they got off to a very good start going up 2-0 in the first 23 minutes. Uh, at halftime, we switched tactics a little bit, got away from the 4-4-2, which we started out. So we started out defensive against France, and they sort of took it to us. The second half we played a little better, got a goal from Bobby Wood, but at that point it was too late. France was already up 3-0 and they just sort of cruised to the victory. Uh, you know, some mitigating circumstances, a lot of, of, of our guys were not incredibly match fit, especially our goalkeeper Zach Steffen has hardly played all year long. Might have to think about bringing him back to MLS if possible so he can at least get some playing time. Uh, you know, and... Um, you know, uh, Pulisic is not in the lineup. He was coming off another injury, of course. He's always injured. So I wanted to take him a little bit uh, a little bit slowly into the preseason here, into these friendlies. And we did not play him against France. We did, however, play him in the second game against Russia, our little tune-up friendly, which we won 2-1 to one thanks to a pair of goals from Josh Sargent. So we did bring Josh Sargent on to the team. He's, uh, you know, still a youngster, but he's growing. He's getting better. He's a very solid striker for us. He's not starter material for us just yet, but you know, maybe next World Cup he'll probably be our top striker in the nation. Um, you know, Pulisic did play. Didn't play terrifically. 
but he played a significant amount of time, 85 minutes, so I think he's ready to go. Stefan got another game under his belt, so he's got some more match sharpness. As you can see here, he's up to 84%. So, you know, this time we went attacking against Russia and played much better. 58% possession. You know, Russia had their chances. They did get a goal in the first half, but we sort of took the ball and went home in the second half. You know, took the air out of the ball, as they say. And, uh, you know, kind of just cruised to the victory in the second half. So hopefully we can do something like that in the World Cup games. Get out early and then use our possession to just kind of keep the ball away from the other team. So let's uh, move on ahead here a little bit. We got some games going on today. We'll see, uh, we'll see what happens. Here we are. Brazil versus Costa Rica. Tough first game for Costa Rica. Cameroon, Italy. Then USA, Poland, and Germany versus Guinea. Uh, should we scout the Costa Rica game? No, no need for that. Let's get to the match preview. So we are facing Poland. Pretty good squad. 13th in the world. They've got some good players. Krzysztof Piatek from Real Madrid. He looks like an excellent, excellent striker. 18 finishing. 18 composure worth 85 million this guy could score some goals we definitely have to watch out for him uh he is their key player of course their captain gregor kotroviak sure why not defensive midfielder pretty good we don't know a lot about these guys we don't really scout a ton of people in europe uh let's see shoo Wojcik Szczesny, Szczesny, sure. Juventus goalkeeper. This guy could also be trouble. So a team with an excellent striker and an excellent goalkeeper. If you got that that combination, you're gonna be in a lot of games. It's like those are the two foundations that I like to build a team around: is get a good striker, get a good goalkeeper, and then you can figure out the rest. So we shall see. He's worth $57 million. He is 32 years old, but that's fine for a goalkeeper. That's prime age for a goalkeeper. No problems there. They are the favorites in this game. 6-4. to four. We're playing in, let's see, Um Salal Stadium. Um Salal Mohammed Province, whatever. <laughs> I don't know what they have, provinces or states or what they have over there. I guess we should have looked that up. But this is not Wikipedia. This is football manager. So, you know, they're in strong form right now. Three wins and two draws. No losses in their last five. We're inconsistent. Two losses, two wins, and a draw. So it's going to be an interesting game. We shall see. Jersey. Brzeszczyk. Brzeszczyk. I don't know. He's their head coach. Um, Polish head coach since 2018. So he's the one who got them here. Decent coach. Good at motivating, very determined, good at working with youngsters. You know, he's not an overwhelming international coach, but he's good enough. Good enough for a good team. Uh, let's see, their biggest strength is heading. That's an interesting strength. And then their potential weakness is crossing. So that's good. We don't... I mean, it's not that we're weak against crosses, but... They can cause a lot of problems on the international level because you got guys who don't communicate very well, you know, not being on the same team for, for long stretches and things like that. Anyway, let's get to our team. We are going to go with the Z formation. We're going to start out attacking in this World Cup. No reason to leave it all behind. We're going to, you know, we saw what happened against against France is they they took it to us early in the game, and we don't want that to happen against a team like Poland. And Poland might be a team that sits back, so we'll see. Let's submit the team. Team selection. Okay, so we are we're still lacking a little bit of match sharpness. But we're gonna have to deal with that as the tournament goes on. Good thing about it is the farther we go in the tournament, the less that's gonna be a factor. So here we are. Starting lineup. Zach Steffen in goal, making his debut. <laughs> Surprisingly, he's He's the best goalkeeper in the USA, but he just has not played, so I haven't played him much with the U.S. team. I just sort of took this opportunity to get him fit. You know, if he won't get fit with his regular team, I'll force it. 
Anyway, we got Gutman on the left, Serginho Dest on the right, Miazga and Cameron Carter Vickers central defense. I think that's a pretty solid defense. Our midfield, I think, is our strength with McKenney and Hindeman in there. We also have, you know, Keaton Parks, Tyler Adams. So we got a very strong rotation in the midfield. There's no problems there. I think that's I think that's the strength of this team, honestly. Uh, Boyd on the left is a player who's come on. Uh, you know, he's he's improving as a young player so he's he's out there uh speaking of young players we've got giovanni reina the 20 year old taking number 20 okay at 10.5 million he's played well he's played well for us he's played well for his team so we're gonna put him in there he gives us a little bit of playmaking a little bit of flair so we'll see if we can we can do that you know see if we can use some of that and then of course pulisic on the right and Josie Altador up top. Altador is playing very well in MLS right now. So we rewarded him with a call up to the US team. We'll see if he can get some goals. Playing him as a deep line playmaker. So maybe he can get the ball out to Boyd or Pulisic and, and make some plays. Uh, Poland looks like they're going with their starting lineup. Chesney in goal. We already looked at him. Four appearances, 10 concessions. That's not great. Reka. Uh, uh, Krachowiak, that's the guy we looked at. Their team captain, def playing central defense. Two assists, 7.2 rating. Uh, let's see, anybody else? Piotrowski, one appearance. Zelezny, six appearances, one assist. Two goals from the left wing. Malik, two goals from the right wing. Shemansky, one assist. And then the big man, four goals and three appearances. We got to watch out for him. All right, let's get to the dressing room. Uh, pep talk. Uh, let's be passionate. Come on, guys, show me what you can do. Nobody cares about that. And team talk. Uh, let's see. Opposition instructions. I mean, we just really, we really need to tightly mark this guy. Just, you know. I mean, can we tightly mark all of these guys? Possibly. I don't know. I don't know how much their fullbacks are going to get forward. I mean, they look like they're kind of playing wingback positions, so we might also want to do that if possible. You know what? Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. We haven't done a lot of that recently in terms of individual instructions. So we'll we'll see if that hurts or helps. Extended highlights. That's what we're looking at. We are in the whites with the blue shoulders and the red stripes. Poland in their all-red uniforms. Josie Altidore with some pressure early, forcing uh, you know the goalkeeper to just chuck it out of bounds. So that's a good start. These guys might not be able to handle the pressure. Let's see, boys. Eight minutes in, not a lot happening. A lot of back and forth in the midfield. Poland trying to... Battle us for possession. Here we are. Boyd loses it in the offensive zone. Here comes Poland on the counterattack across midfield. Looks like our defense is back. They've got to drop it back. And they're going to set up their offense. Sending one way out wide. Fullback on the overlap. Milik chips one in. That player was way offside. Striker guy. Go. There's Altidore putting on more pressure, forcing perhaps a turnover. Nope. Poland is able to recover at midfield. We're putting pressure on them, but they're they're beating our pressure. Okay, not getting off great shots though. Here we go. Pulisic. Another turnover in the offensive zone starts a counterattack for Poland, but we're we're getting back decently. St Oh boy, this looks like danger. They center it. Sends it wide. Or did Stefan make that? Stefan made that save. Oof, they are starting to catch us on that counterattack. I don't like it. Here we go. Shemansky with a corner on the near side. Okay. You know, they said their strength is heading, and they did get one. But so far, Stefan is paying some dividends right now. He's stopping a lot of shots. Five shots on target. Poland is being very efficient offensively. 
Might be having shots, but they're coming from long range. Here we go. Polisic sends one in. Ooh, the goalkeeper has to rush out for that big looping free kick. Highlight continues. 33 minutes down in the first half already. Shashesny. Okay, Malik saves it on the far sideline, and Poland's going to uh, start things up again. All right, they're going to matriculate a little bit. We'll see. Maybe we can get some more pressure on the keeper. I mean, I doubt this guy's going to mess up, but you never know. I keep waiting for that to be a turnover, but it is not. This guy is going around our fullbacks. There is a good play from Cameron Carter-Vickers. Way to go, my man. Okay, I don't know about that pass. Offside. Offside. Where's the... Was Vickers keeping him onside? Come on. No flag. Poor pass. Let's see. I mean, look at him. He looks completely offside. Completely offside. How is that not offside? Ugh, maybe because it was a turnover. Alright, tactics in possession. Let's work the ball in the box. Uh, Piatek has already scored once. Here we go. Throw in. Poland near side. Looking to get a second before half. There's a big turnover. Pulisic has it. Don't try to do too much with it. He gets around one man. He is trying to do too much with it. The whole team is surrounding him. He does send it in, though. Can't get it to Altidore. Boyd heads it down to McKenney. McKenney to Reyna. Boyd out wide to Gutman. Gutman around the defender. Drops it back to McKinney. McKinney with the shot. Nope. Gets it back, though. Okay, a little bit of action in front of the Polish goal. Here we go, another highlight. Polisic. Cross deflected. Poland starts the counterattack. No. They do lose it at midfield to Gutman and USA. Gets it out wide to Boyd. Boyd. Sends it across to Polisic. Header can't get it. Altidore. Altidore, come on. Uh, well, USA is swarming in front of that net, but we can't get off a good shot. The Polish defense is a little too strong right now and there we go first half all right in you know we started to get a lot of interesting things happening in front of goal working it in there but we just need to uh, we need to get a goal all right um Try to be more expressive, I guess. We'll start with small changes. Pep talk. Passionate. Um, I don't think you played as well as you're capable. All right. Nobody cared about that. Start second half. You know, we're a little bit susceptible to their counterattacks. But it wasn't necessarily a counterattack that got us. It was a turnover. Terrible play from Cameron Carter Vickers. Reyna gets it out wide. Serginio Dest has got some room. Sends it across. Tried to get it to Boyd, but could not reach him. That Polish defense is too good. We might have to tell our guys to start taking long range shots. But I don't know if that's our forte. Here we go. Dest. Polisic. Reyna. See if the youngster can make a play. Drops it to Weston McKinney with the shot. Yes! Just like I said, take some more shots. Because we're not getting it in there. Outstanding. All right. Um, you know, do we... Do we go for a draw here? I think we might. You know, we got to play smart. One point is better than no points. Dest. Very calm, Polisic. Nice touch. Reyna. Good pass to McKenney. 
a little bit of a deflection there, I think. I think it deflected off number four and then in off the post. So a double deflection, but we'll take it. No questions asked. Team instructions. Shoot on sight. Here we go. Cameron Carter Vickers. Gonna U.S. going to play it out of their own half. Weston McKinney's got, he's got some room. Plays it out wide. Boyd's got plenty of space down the near sideline. Looking, looking. Missed one tackle. Sends it across. Cannot get it. He sends it in himself. Takes the shot. Um, let's see. Is anybody playing particularly poorly? Altidore's not playing great. I'm going to change him to target man. See if we can actually target him. Polisic's a little tired, not playing particularly well. But we are going to leave him in there. Shashesny, 60 minutes down. Sends it across. Big win from Dest at midfield. Polisic has it. Taking it. Diving inside. A little bit of traffic. Sends the shot. This is looking a little better. Forcing this guy to make some saves rather than trying to poke it through that defense who seems to be very tight right now. Okay, 66 minutes. Piatek is offside. Get out of here. 70 minutes. Poland not putting a lot of pressure on us. A lot of space in midfield here for Reyna. Okay. Looking good. Pulisic gets it back to Dest, who's making a run. Dest, okay. Not great. They lose it to Piatek. He should be covered here, but he's an excellent player. Vickers, nice. Trying to make up for that bad pass earlier. Can't get the ball to the striker, but, uh, you know. He's making good defensive plays. He's making poor passes. There's a great pass. Great stop from Stefan. <sighs> Pins and needles right now. 11 shots, 9 on target for Poland. Yellow card. USA gets the free kick. Dest tried some weird little back pass. Lost it. Here comes Poland now on the attack. Jashoviak. Big tackle. Dest can't win the ball, but he does disrupt the offense a little bit. Another disruption. Reyna's racing for it. It's not going to beat the Polish midfielders. Okay. This is a pretty long highlight here. Pretty good buildup. Reka out wide. Gets the cross in. I thought they were supposed to be not good at crosses. They look pretty good to me. That was a fine assist. I mean, good run of play. Pulisic is not looking good out there. He's he's loafing right now. All right. So we're going to sub him out of there. He's... Yeah, I don't know. All right. Uh, see. Yeah, I guess we'll bring in Paul Areola. Pulisic. I'm on support. It's fine. Oh boy. Oh boy. Here we go. See if we can salvage the draw. Hindeman, 79 minutes. Drops it back to McKinney. Out wide to Areola, the new man. He's got Dest outside if he wanted to. No, he gets it to Hindeman. Areola, Dest is on side. He's got some space. Boy, he tried a direct shot from there. That was an interesting maneuver. But Gutman recovers it. Near sideline, looking for someone to pass it to. Gets it to McKinney. Back to Gutman. Sends it in. Nobody particularly there. 80 minutes. Go back on the attack for the final bit of the game. See if we can get that second goal. Hindeman to Areola. Just snail's pace across midfield. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. We're, we're working it. Working it downfield. Reyna, McKenney. 
Okay, we're sort of overloaded there on the right hand side. Dest trying to beat his man one on one. Sends it in. Boyd can't win it. You know, uh, Altador has been a non factor. Here we go. Gutman, can he get it to Altador? He does. Heads it down to Boyd off the post. Eighty-one minutes. Something has happened. Skip. I don't know what happened there. Eighty-two minutes. Another throw in for USA. Dest. Okay. McKinney in the middle of the field. He's got the whole field to play with. Sends it forward. Boyd looked a little offside there. Turnover to Poland and start their counterattack. Big steal from Weston McKinney. Excellent play. He's storming down the near sideline. Looking, looking, drops it back for Guzman. Gutman, I mean. Okay, he switches field. Not a great pass. <laughs> 84 minutes. Still got some time. Not all day. Kramer Carter Vickers, another risky pass, but he gets it to Areola. Okay, okay. Building the attack. Altidore looking. Dest is on another run if we want to get it to him. McKinney sends it out wide to Areola, who wins it. St sends it in. Wow. Shooting from crazy angles here, but I guess we are saying telling them to shoot on sight. Areola sends it in. Nobody there for USA, but Cameron Carter Vickers picks it up. Back out wide to Areola. Sends it in. Altidore can't get ahead on it. Poland clears it. Don't just clear it. They get it out to Piatek, who's across midfield. Looking for the counterattack again. This time nobody there for Poland. 85 minutes. So we're getting tons of highlights here at the end of the game. USA really trying to press the tempo. Getting a highlight a minute here. Dest with the throw in at midfield. Gets it back. Okay. USA still being pretty patient offensively. Sends it near side. Boyd. Gutman is on the overlap, but Boyd doesn't need him. Boyd tackled. Reyna. Shot. Nope. Polish defense. Staying strong. USA does recover. Miazga bombs it downfield. And Shemansky's going to recover for Poland. They've got a counterattack here. Two on three. Shemansky with a shot. Not a great stop from Stefan. He sort of was very lackadaisical with that one. Let's Let's shout. Let's demand more. Shemansky. Let's see. Are there any subs we need to make? Uh, we can bring in Sergeant for Altador. Um, pressing forward, I guess. Shemansky sends one across. Goes out of bounds. Okay. Four minutes of stoppage time. Here we go. Let's get the equalizer, boys. Gutman to McKenney to Boyd across midfield. Plenty of space. Dives inside. Pass a midfielder. Gets it forward. Sergeant Hindeman off the post. That was our chance, boys. That was our chance. That should have been a goal. Still active, though. Highlight still going. See if we can recover. Cameron Carter Vickers. Dest. Still three minutes to go. Var Vickers just bombs it downfield to Sargent. He wins the header out wide to Areola. Areola centers it across to Boyd. Yes. What a goal. We needed that. Salvage a point, a very, very important point. Sargent with the key header right there to Areola. Cross field. Boyd. You know, I told you Boyd is a young player who's been coming on. He's looking pretty good as a winger. 14 finishing, 13 composure as a winger. Here we go. 30 seconds overdue. McKinney. Not a great pass, and there's the end of the game. So USA, tough 
gritty draw. Went down in the first half. Came back. Went down again. Another comeback. Tyler Boyd. Two minutes of stoppage time. Unbelievable point that we pulled out against Boland. You know, it's 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 what we needed. It's the minimum we, we needed to stay in this hunt. Player of the match, Weston McKinney. 8.6 in the second half. Had some good defensive plays. Kept this team in it. Way to go. I should have pep talked, but who cares at this point. McKinney impressed with a goal. Post-match press conference. Harrison tries to find positives and draw. I mean, you know, we beat the higher rated team. Right? We're 28th in the world. They're like 16th or whatever. So, you know, I think there's some positives to be found there. USA must build on the draw. That's right. Uh, the remaining group stage fixtures, I mean, pretty sure that Germany's going to win that one. If they don't win that one, if Guinea manages to beat Germany, then all bets are off. I mean, that's that would be an outstanding upset. But as it stands right now, <laughs> USA on top. Um, I guess we can fast forward a little bit and, and check out that German result. So hang on as we pause it. Okay, we're back. Germany wins 2-0 at... Uh, you know, puts us in second place in our group, which is fine. I mean, we're tied with Poland, but whatever. Technically, we're second place, so we'll take it. We will definitely take it. Take a look at the schedule. Got Guinea up next. It should be the win, and then the big game versus Germany. Can we pull out a draw or something against Germany? Other than that, it's going to be between USA and Poland, and who beats Guinea the most, basically. So we shall see. But that'll be for next time. So until then, we'll see you later. Bye-bye.